Last year, on a bike ride, I stumbled upon a marmot. I thought it was a lone wolf, but over a year later, I was surprised to see another one. Cute little guy. Recently, my dive buddies and I explored some new grounds, hope by the coal ports. The water visibility was decent, but we couldn't spot crabs due to the thick eel grass. We did see more marmots though. Surprisingly, Tawasin has an entire colony of them living in various rock piles. Marmots aren't native to South Delta, but they are notorious hitchhikers and stow away on trains and semi-trucks and abandoned ship once at their desired locations. The yellow-bellied marmot, also known as the rock shark, is a large ground squirrel in the marmot genus. It's one of 14 species of marmots and is native to the mountainous regions of southwestern Canada and the western United States. They are described as mainly brown with dark bushy tail, yellow chest and white patch between their eyes. They can weigh up to 11 pounds. Yellow bellies hibernate for approximately 8 months starting in September and lasting throughout the winter. They dig burrows underneath rocks in order to remain hidden from predators. They feed on plant materials, insects and bird eggs. I'd imagine these guys would feed on fresh seafood too. Unlike the critically endangered Vancouver Island marmot, the yellow belly conservation status is of least concern. A few neat facts, during hibernation, they only need two to three breaths per minute and their heart rate slows down from the normal 120 beats to only three to four beats per minute. I'd imagine they make great free divers. Yellow bellied marmots have many predators like coyotes, badgers, black bears, cougars, bobcats, and birds such as eagles. Upon seeing a predator, the yellow belly whistles to warn others in the area. This little guy scared me, but in all fairness, I probably scared it first.